Most people today are very connected in the world. We know this, of course, because of social media and the internet, which has changed the way that we all live. You may be interested to know that the internet and social media is also very much changing our perceptions of beauty. We know a lot scientifically about beauty because it has been studied extensively by surgeons, by psychologists, and many others. We know that true beauty is really determined by how average you look in your society. More about that in a moment. But it's also determined by how your facial features are my, either more feminine if you're a woman or more masculine if you're male. The more they are, the more beautiful you will look. Facial symmetry is also important. The more symmetrical you are, the more beautiful you will tend to be appearing to other people. And finally, how youthful you are is important because youthfulness implies fertility. And whether we know it or not, or even like it or not, this is something that men and women recognize in each other and makes one person more attractive or not to another. Now back to averageness for a minute. This is the most important thing in determining whether you are attractive in the culture, in the society that you live. And of course today with social media, we see individuals from all around the world. And so each time we see a new face, we incorporate that image into our brain as a face that we find acceptable because that's a face that is in our environment, our realm. You may or may not know that each of us carries between 200 and 250,000 different images in our brains. And these images are all brought together into a compound image that determines for each of us what person we find attractive. So indeed, beauty is in the eye of the beholder and it's determined by the culture in which you live and by all the images that you are seeing. Because of the internet and social media, we're seeing images from all around the world. And furthermore, with immigration, particularly in North America, we're seeing people from all different races and cultures who are living within our midst. Not only that, we're of course now seeing more intermarriage. And with that, we are seeing offspring who are a blend of different races. All of these things are truly changing the face of beauty. And so as we move through life, our goal as surgeons is to be wary and cognizant of all of these changes so that when we're trying to create beauty for you, attractiveness for you, we know what the ideal standards and goals are so that we can create a very natural look, one that fits into the society and the culture in which we live.